So, Holly Willoughby is basically turning on Philip Schofield. They're turning on each other at this point to save their reputations, and it just got worse for Philip, with more information being revealed. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well. So they're back at again. It is daily and consistent content, guys. So subscribe to the channel. Click that button. It's just one click. And let's get straight into this video. So, we have a lot going on with Philip Schofield. Holly Willoughby's put out a statement yesterday where she basically said that she had no idea of what had happened. She questioned Philip. He denied it. He admitted now publicly that he lied so she's using that as a great tool to say you know what i am convinced and i was wrong and you know he lied to me woe is me woe is me woe is me and it's just very hard to believe that holly willoughby would be the damsel in distress and not have any understanding with a man that she's worked with for a very long time a very very long time like it is possible that she didn't know and that she was just there to present with him but it is very interesting i feel like all of this started with the q gate situation that they both went through and then you know this whole stuff happened with them beefing behind the set things not going on so well with them and now suddenly he decided to leave and it's funny though because when he decided to leave or got fired ITV still made a very strong statement guys saying that they will want to still work with him on many other presenting awards that suddenly changed from the week after when everything was revealed so Holly will be turning on Philip are we surprised no I'm not she's doing everything that she can and people are just not buying it but I think that she will return it to this morning Eamon Holmes said that four people above at ITV knew exactly what Philip was doing and let it happen now, that's crazy allegations, guys, brutally exposing them, crazy allegations for him to put out there saying that a lot of people knew. And it just makes you question now, are we getting a Jimmy Savile type of situation here where grown women and men who work for this, these productions know what their presenters are doing and turn a blind eye to it because it doesn't affect them? It is so, so scary. So scary. It was revealed now what the age was when Philip actually met this person and it, apparently he him he was 15. Now I believe that apparently he was younger from what I've heard but reports are saying that he was 15 when him and Philip first met. Philip is currently 61 I believe so around that time he must have been like 50. Why is a 50 year old meeting a 15 year old boy? <laughs> it is insane. If it was a 50 year old guy with a 15 year old girl the world the ma Philip would not even be able to return and but but he said that he's now gay he came out saying that he's gay and suddenly that was able to just wash away everything with what he was doing with the young boy do you see what happens when you come out and say that you're gay like he did he weaponized and manipulated it in a way to say I've used that I've said that now let's put away the story of me talking to young boys suddenly it's okay because I've been I've, I'm, I'm gay now like the way he did that whole situation, Holly was hugging him, Eamon was hugging him. It was all staged and scripted and it worked, guys, because he was able to continue to keep his job for the next three years. So it worked for him. So I just find that bizarre because in no way is a straight man going to be able to get away with that. But if you're gay, suddenly it's, you know, not questioned as much. And I find it to be very dangerous. And because he's a young boy, it's not questioned as much. So I'm glad there's some kind of conversation about him being groomed. For me, it is triggering. I'm glad that some people have understand that, especially from what I went through, as the whole world knows. It's unfortunate that, you know, the men in the 40s didn't get any blame, but me at the age of 17, 18, 19 got everything. So, you know, it's when I very much said that, you know, with men it came to me, I was forced. I was locked in rooms. I was beaten. You know, it was significant damage. But because um, I'm not the young girl and the, and, and they're not the older men with the young girl, it's the power imbalances are not understood. Whereas, you know, being a young boy <laughs> with grown men, like, you know, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Uh, it's, it's just wild to me how that happened, unfortunately. Um, but I'm glad that there's some kind of conversation because, you know, somebody like this young runner who was 10, 12, whenever he met Philip, 15, 16, 17, he could have lived a very different, healthier life than having this man come into his life, abuse his power to try and hire him so he can be around his circumference. It's just very, very sad. So with this new information of him being 15, Eamon Holmes basically exposing ITV, Holly will be turning in on her, um, on Philip. You know, Alison Hammond and Dem O'Leary apparently are livid with the statement that they had to put out for Philip. Everything is a mess when it comes to ITV right now. So Love Island coming on next week, I don't think is a great tool. I think it's going to damage the ratings for Love Island because zero advertisement has been happened for, has, has been has happened for the show. Also, I don't think a lot of people might want to watch it with everything going on with ITV and you know the image of Philip and etc. So it's just the wrong timing for ITV in you know 
its capacity. Everything is turning on itself and it's an absolute mess. But there needs to be more of a conversation and I'm very passionate about this as you guys can tell because I get very irritated, I talk fast or you know, I get over emotional but you know, there needs to be a conversation because our young boys are not being protected in today's society. In London, there are barely any places, services, charities for young boys to go to, you know, because they feel like it's okay. People in society see it as man on man. It's really scary that people see it like that. It's very unfortunate, but there's not enough being happened for young boys, which is why men like Philip in their 60s and 50s and 40s can go after these young teenage boys and use them for the devices. It's disgusting, it's sad, and they get away with it. So I'm glad that Philip is getting not getting away with this. I'm glad that he's been fired as well, but we'll just see what happens with Holly. We'll see what happens with, you know, um, um, in the morning, um, whatever the show is called, and apparently there's questions that it might not return. ITV said it is returning, um, but I just don't want this to be a situation where people just forget about it because, uh, to me, the agency that I've known him for 20, 30 years to drop him like that, in my opinion, means that a lot more is coming up. A lot more is coming out about this man. Let me know your thoughts. I want to come to this subscribe channel, guys. Click that button. I just hope and pray there's not many, there's that there's not numerous boys. Um, and this boy, I believe, has not even spoken. So is he going to say something now? Because that's what I'm waiting for. Let me know your thoughts, guys, and I'll catch you guys soon for another review.